When I was in my 20s, what I really wanted to do, I wanted to make it. And in musical terms, that meant get a record deal, become huge, play stadiums. That was what we were doing when we were in the town. We wanted to make it. We want you to be the you that we construct in your image. We didn't realize that the deal with the EMI was real when we actually got that check which was for 150000 Our lawyer got, and our manager got, and, and the, got, what did we get? We got 3500 apiece. As Spencer the Gardener started, I thought, I don't need the record industry. I don't want the record industry. I want to just continue this on my own and make it popular however size I want it. People love your band. It's like the all-time best party band. It's deeper than that, though. <laughs> it's deeper than that, it's yeah. It's a profound party band. There's a soul to Santa Barbara. When someone asks me, what does Spencer the Gardener sound like? I think about it, I go, they sound like Santa Barbara. It's a Latin big band spy movie set on a moody tropical beach. He's a very, very positive aspect and a very artistic aspect of Santa Barbara. This is a town, as my mother said, I wish you kids were from somewhere else so you could see how nice it is to live here. <laughs> Sometimes you have to move away to know where you want to end up. And then the accident happened. I think deep down it really broke Spencer's heart. If I just had you to hold on to, I could hold on. I still believe it. Of course I'm talking about a girl. Every song is about a girl. What now, Spencer? What's coming next? What's coming down the pike for Spencer Barnett's? Hopefully a kidney. Everybody goes through a lot of stuff, and Spencer is able to write about them. Ride the pretty one. And he is a survivor. Perseverance, sheer hard work, bullheaded. Yes! I don't think I've written the most beautiful song I can write yet. He truly is an icon in this town. You know why I don't stop? Damn, this is fun.